Hey friends, back again. Uh, first things first, today is my baby's birthday. So happy birthday to my youngest. Um, I had a few different things I wanted to talk about. I uh, finally finished a book, uh, first time, and it seems like a really long time. And I'm just like chilling in my reclining couch because uh, I kind of had a long day of running around town and lots of walking and everything. Um, but anyway, so I finished The Murder at the Murder at the Mimosa Inn, and it was really fun, and it got really, really cheesy at the end, but I, I enjoyed reading it. It was great. Um, so uh, if I see anything else by Joan Hiss, I, I might pick it up and read it because this was a fun, short uh, little book to read. Uh, curious, anybody else out there watch Stakeland and Stakeland 2? We watched those recently, and man, those were so emotional. Um, like, we watched the first one, and then we just kind of had to take a break. Like, we, could, we didn't watch them back to back. It would have just been too much. Um, and we also watched Late Phases. That was really cool. And... Just went blank. What else did we watch? The Man Who Killed Hitler and the Bigfoot. Yes, The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot with Sam Elliott. That sounds like such a silly movie based on the title. I wish they would have maybe used something else because it was so good. Um, if you've gone past that and, and seen it and not watched it, go back and watch it. It was great. It was absolutely great. Um, Sam Elliott was fantastic. Love him. Um, I know I posted a picture when I got done reading this um, last week, and I was like, oh, what's next? Well, I'll tell you what was next. I ordered a bunch of books from Alterna Comics, and I got... Um, three books that are a four-part series. The fourth one doesn't come out until next month, but it's called Midnight Mystery. I absolutely, I'm just in love with this cover. Like, I would have a poster of this in my library because I think it's just great. And basically, this is about um, this detective named Zeke King, and he, all his cases are like paranormal kind of stuff. So it's really fun. Um, if you don't know about Alterna Comics, I'm going to leave a link in my description box to their Etsy store. It's really great. Um, I took a picture with my comics and I got an awesome coupon. So, of course, I'm going to go buy a bunch of more stuff. And they have like um, different programs where you can uh, pay like a subscription fee, like for the year, for the month, different things. Um so I'm definitely going to do that. Um, but these were fantastic. And it says it's only a four-issue limited series. But um, Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Locker, come on now. I'm going to want more than just four of these. These were fantastic. So much fun. More, 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 more. Um, but anyway, this one is by far my favorite cover. I just think it's awesome. And this was number two. And it is a series. Like, I was thinking when just looking at the covers, oh, well, I guess these are just like you, you know, wouldn't have to, like, read them all together or in order or anything. But you definitely do because you're thinking, like, do these have anything to do with one another? Uh, but they totally do, and they were all really good. Another cool thing about these is it goes, they're using like the old like newspaper print paper. Um, totally don't mind it because the artwork is still way better than a lot of um, more popular uh, comic brands out there right now. Uh, these were great. I really loved them. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you the other books that I got. Um, I haven't read these yet. And honestly, I like these just because of the title. It came out on a Wednesday. I just think that is a really 
cool title. So it looks like, is that supposed to be Quasimodo? I'm still listening to the audiobook on LibriVox of the, um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I've never watched like the Disney movie, like from beginning to end. I've just seen, seen bits and pieces of it throughout the years with three kids. Um, but it's really nothing like that, of course. You know, Disney, you know, really PGs up all of those fairy tales. Um, but it's really, really good. I've really been enjoying it. This is probably my second favorite cover um, out of all the books that I got. It came out on a Wednesday. <laughs> it's just some really freaky looking monster. And then the third one of that another really cool thing when you um are looking at the books on uh that are being put out by alterna comics is they have um ratings so like these are rated t for teen um and the midnight mystery was also rated t for teen and then i got a few um that are rated mature so like, as a mom, that's really awesome because, you know, I've got younger kids, so I could go through and I'm like, oh, that looks really cool, but, oh, it's pretty mature. Probably, you know, don't get that one for your 13-year-old. Um, but these are those Dark Blood, Dark Covenant Part 1. Look at that freaky-looking thing. And I'm covering up the price, but, I mean, look at that. $1.50. Which is awesome because sometimes I'm looking at these comics and it may be like, you know, some like special, you know, semi-annual, you know, um, issue. But, you know, it'll be like $8. And I'm like, I could buy a trade paperback for $8. Why would I pay $8 for a comic? Like, I don't know. Like, the price of magazines. Some magazines are just Flipping ridiculous, you know, like $15 for a magazine? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Um, here's the number two of Blood Realm. And then here's the last one. This kind of looks like some weird, like, I don't know. I was thinking like the Easter Island um, heads, but I don't know. kind of looks like he's got on some weird helmet or something. I haven't read these yet. Um, but definitely going to get to those. And then I got this, it's like a, a mini graphic novel. So it's like, uh, it's like, it's just as many pages, but it's just smaller and it's a uh, go West. It looks really awesome. Um, but if you haven't heard of Alterna Comics, you really need to check it out. I'm going to leave a link uh, to their Etsy store in the description box. I'm super excited about this. I'm really hoping that someone that loves me will buy me the uh, subscription that's like for a year and it's a really awesome price and so then you just you you get books every month and then I could do like an unboxing you know and reviews on the books because so far the um those three I read for um, Mystery, um, Midnight Mystery were great, great. Um, and it's just so exciting because I haven't really read much of comics in a really long time. And um, I just saw where um, Matt and Zoe just did a video. So as soon as I'm done, that's what I'm going to be watching. Um, I've missed watching them. Uh, anyway, I totally lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, these were awesome. Like, uh, I haven't read really any comics in such a long time. Um, I saw the other day we were at Ollie's and they had, um, volume two of The God Bomb of Thor. And I was like, those were so good. And it was after they got done with that, then all of a sudden Thor was a woman and I stopped reading them. Like, you know, yay women, but Thor's a dude. And then that series was so good. But whatever. I'm really excited about Alterna Comics, though. This is just great. Um, 
I really, really hope that this doesn't stop at four issues because I would definitely, uh, you know, put a sub in for this and, and read it every month. It was really great. And I, it was just, it kind of felt like a, I don't know, I guess nostalgic to, you know, feel that newspaper kind of paper in it. But it was really great, really great. If you like comics, you need to check them out. Um, it was just great. Um, well, that's all I got, guys. Um, hope you all had a great Friday. And I'll do my best to do another video soon.